This has been a public service announcement. Get things powder coated, don't paint them. <laughs> and that's the Furious Garage motto. No more Dr. Pepper can or King can. The sister car to Letty's car is this right here. One day somebody's gonna see this car underneath and go, God damn. Rubbing it in, I'm telling you, better than it has to be. <laughs> I guess let's get to work. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Please like and subscribe. Um, this is History in the Making. We are saving automotive and cinematic history. And these are the real screen use Fast and Furious cars. And you're going to see the four way street race eventually get put back together. And maybe some events with Craig Lieberman and I. Um, the sky's the limit. We're here for you guys, the fans. I want to share these vehicles with you. So, again, please like and subscribe. We appreciate and uh, your support. And keep watching. Thanks. So, Derek is back from powder coating. He took Paul Walker's F 150 Lightning uh, back to the powder coating company to pick up everything here. Everything is brand new looking, um, and when it goes back on the car, will be absolutely amazing. This actually is pretty cool. Tank shield. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the uh, tank shield, heat shields. That's and, aluminum, right? Yeah. Oh I mean, yeah, the color is called aluminum. Yeah, and it's aluminum. Yeah, it's so. aluminum, and the, the powder color is called aluminum. So I think we did the right thing by making it aluminum, aluminum. We did some of the suspension bits in yellow we had a little bit of fun with this why not you know the primary color of letty's car is purple and yellow right pretty much yeah, a little bit of silver a little bit of silver but so we did some of the suspension parts in yellow just some accents probably stuff you'll never see but um i guess if you follow our channel and you see the car you'll be like hey yeah you guys have yellow suspension bits underneath there but uh yeah it all looks pretty good it's not out of the wrapper small little parts oh yeah the suspension parts we're talking about that we did in yellow accents, yellow and black. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, that's the. I'm like, what the hell are these for? That's the disc cover. Nice. And we got two parts that don't belong to us. <laughs> so. Right. And then our home and her. No more Dr. Pepper can or King can. <gasps> Oh, Poofy heat shield thing. The, yeah, he built that for us, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. How'd it come out? That was way better. Let me see. That was so much nicer. Yeah. We'll see if it all fits, because, you know, that didn't fit very well, but that was... Yeah, this feels a bit more stout. The, yeah, the, the tin can. Yeah, was... the shield that was on there before. But uh, cool, man. They did a good job. Dad's Powder Coating in Zephyr Hills is our primary sponsor for, obviously, powder coating. They do a fantastic job. Here's the piece I need right now. And that is the front, front subframe. Yeah. I like the bubble wrap, but then I hate the bubble wrap. Or the, the, <laughs> the saran wrap. wrap. Yeah. yeah. And if you follow our channel, you guys know that I'm super OCD. You fucking thing. <laughs> And so this is why we go the distance to do what we do. I mean, we could have just rattle canned this stuff or just even put it back underneath there and just kind of cleaned it up. Yeah, and face coat clear coated it too. Yeah. yeah, but I like things to stand the test of time. And this is one of those things. Powder coat is probably the, the best thing you can do. Wow. Yeah, it's shiny, bro. Yeah. Bling, bling. Hey, don't scratch it putting it in. Yeah. Tell the mechanic that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go this way. What'd you do with the nuts? Ah, uh, that's your department, buddy. I have mine too. Uh-huh. My wife's got mine, so. My wife has one of them once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some new motor mounts. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll, I'll go underneath this way. Yeah, there they are. We got new motor mounts because the other ones were pretty big. Let me see if I got an example. Yep, here we go. Old motor mounts, well, old, but they're actually bought brand new ones. Where's Explain, Derek. Where's the other one? It's the one I grinded on. Yeah. So this one, I grinded here because the way I have the, the drain tube was be hitting this. The turbo really, drain. The turbo drain, yeah, yeah. It would just be like that. So I might, we might as well just do, we just did those just to be sure that right. we ain't Look at rub. the size difference between the two. I mean, put it put up there. Wow. So we got those and then we got that big honking thing. Yeah. And again, it was this drain line right here yep. that we were having an issue with. Okay. Give you guys a little peek of the inside of the car. Look at how stripped it is, <clears throat> even all the way down to the dash. 
So we have our work cut out for us. Even when exterior is finished and looking beautiful, we still have interior we got to finish out. This is the biggest restoration we've done yet. All right, so I got the fuel tank put back together. Um, I actually back to black this side compared to this side. I don't know if you guys can really see it with the, the light in here or not, but you can definitely see there's this side is a lot more shinier than this side. Or make it look new again. So I just arrived here at the Furious Garage this morning and Derek is ready to install the gas tank. He has cleaned it inside and out. Man, it looks nice, dude. Good job. Not cleaner than it was. Yeah, and then we even powder coated the heat shield, which nobody's ever gonna see that, but it's a little step that we took anyways, why not? Um, so you got your, your fuel lines, brand new fuel lines. Which one's which, Derek? I'm using the zip ties as feed and non zip ties as for return. Right, so but I you're not it. using the zip ties. No, just, no, no, I'm just trying to <laughs> Just let people know what. we're not zip tying things. It's just for us to, to know which one's which. Pop so it breathes, basically. Dude, that gas tank looks like brand new, like you just bought it from the freaking factory. I backed the black with the tank. Oh, you did? Yeah. And yeah, it came awesome. out pretty nice. Yeah, it did. It so did compared to what it was. Yeah, so. It was nasty. Again, the brand new uh, tool cart you got. Is that like the Fast and the Furious edition right there? Because it sure does look a lot like the Eclipse color. Did you purposely yeah, that's do that? I kind of purchased it that way. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get the green. It was green or white. That's all they had stock. So gotcha. I ain't doing white. That's cool. Last very long. We got to sticker bomb this thing with like cool sayings from the movie and, and maybe even some decals that look like the side of the Eclipse. Oh, you can do it on the lid, yeah. Yeah. Right here? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, soda blasted, all new, or not new, but cleaned bolts, so nothing's greasy and nasty going back in there. And they were greasy and nasty. I let them soak for a week and I still had to scrub the stuff off. Yeah. So. Uh, but he also undercoated the entire car. I mean, it is so, so very clean. Preservation is what we strive for, and uh, did a good job, dude. Looks really nice. Just look at work. Shave. What? The undercoating? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to stick. Yeah, we, we cleaned it. It's not like we rattle canned over grease and nasty shit we, we have the watching those undercarriage videos how big of a mess we made oh yeah if you haven't seen the undercarriage washing and then how we did it it's really it silly, worked, but, but it, it was, works it was filthy. <laughs> Derek took his kids pool brought it to work no, no, I bought the pool you stole your kids no, pool. I stole kids pool anyway it's a kitty pool a blow-up pool and we end up pressure washing this up on the lift so I want the clip facing this way I don't know if that's the way it was, but that's the way it's going to be. Here's the straps. They are powder coated. Anyway, you neck cleaning from the factory. Well, that? Yeah, These I know, straps, right? They look that <laughs> One day somebody's going to see this car underneath and go, God damn. That's all we got. That's as much height as we got? As much height as we got. So, gas tank is going in. It's like we're going to have to go down with it. Down? All right. Yeah. Want me to control the. No. Hydraulic handbrake here or the up and down motion. I'm worried about there's so much weight in the front and there's nothing in the back. That's what's. Want me to lift this up? I want to get this up. I will in a minute. Okay. okay. I cannot wait till this thing is underneath its own like weight and suspension and put the wheels back on. It's been. God, how long has it been since it's like had its original wheels on it? We've been at this project for how long? Yeah, it's been rocking my. Yeah, it's been rocking my wife's 350Z wheels that we pulled off of her car. Just don't tell her. I can put the camera down, dude. She needs some help. This would be much more fun if it was a full tank. Oh god, he pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a kind of a weird one to put on a fucking tank strap, too. Yeah. It's weird because the, the tank is like shaped like the back seat. Like, when, we, when yeah. you took it down, it, it literally looked like you could sit All right. and rock with it. What's up? Talk the camera's to you. gonna have to go down now. All right. Yeah. We're gonna have to move it down more. All right, let me turn this off. So, Derek has got the gas tank in. 
And that heat shield looks so very nice. Let me go around this way so you guys can see. This has been powder coated. Gas tank has been polished and cleaned. Well, not polished, but like, what, back to black? Is that yeah. what it was? Hey, Gabe, I need you to lift that stuff frame by yourself. No. Oh, this one here? <laughs> oh, let's see how clean nice this is. Oh, look at that. Man, there's just something about a nice, clean subframe that does it for me. I don't know. I think I got a powder coating fetish is what I got. I just like knowing that that stuff is not going to flake off like paint. You yeah, because mine is on my BMW. I painted mine. And what's the moral of the story here? Get things powder coated. Yeah, that was also five years ago. This has been a public service announcement. Get things powder coated. Don't paint them. <laughs> Don't be a cheap ass. Get power coated. <laughs> <laughs> Rattle cans are not your friend. Powder coating is. Yeah, so we got a. It had a, what, a 300 in there? 300. That's what it said. World World 300. Okay. But we got one to run E85 because chances are the fuel pump in here was not uh, able to run E85. And well, so. We could, we could not. We don't know. Don't want to risk it, you know? But anyways, uh, so we're probably going to be making a little bit more power than what we initially thought, maybe, if we can get an E85 tune. Yeah, if we get tuned, yeah. definitely make more. So, I don't know. Nothing fresh. Nice. No one's ever going to see it. <laughs> I know, right? The things nobody will ever see, but yet we're still uh, making it better than what it has to be. And that's the Furious Garage motto. You're rubbing that in, aren't you? I'm telling you. Just, just... Better than it has to be. <laughs> driving at home. Driving at home. <laughs> oh, the sister car to Letty's car is this right here. Um, a lot of you fans and followers already know that, but for the ones that don't, this is another uh, Fast and Furious Letty car used in Fast 1 and Fast 2. It is still in the original blue color. And we are not exactly sure what we're going to do with this yet. We have some ideas. We are not doing an LS swap to this, I can assure you that. The really cool thing about this car is this right here. You see that shield? That was done by the film. So I really think in the script they were going to do something different with this car. Maybe with the police chase scene. Um, you know, the Eclipse, they jumped the Eclipse. Maybe they were going to jump this too. Maybe Letty was going to be in this car running from the police like everybody else was. I don't know, but it has a skid plate for a reason, but it was not used for any stunt work that would uh, require any jumping, so. Yeah, I'm surprised. What's up? I'm surprised you even know the... Today, Junior! Was the VIN list or whatever you have tells you that has a skid plate. Yeah, and, and that's how I know that nobody welded that yeah, in along the way is on my key car list. Um, it's like a spreadsheet, and it says... It has that car, the VIN number and all that, and then it says skid plate car. So I know damn well that was done by Universal or Eddie Paul and his team. So I swear, I think they were gonna jump it, dude. Everything has been powder coated, new ball joints, new hubs, but got the coilovers in already. We're going to leave this on here so this it's kind of like proof that it was orange at one time. Also, we got all new fellows for the uh, steering rack. I've already rebuilt the steering rack. That's the first one I've ever rebuilt. So we'll see if that works out well. New outer tie rods, new inner tie rods. Tires. What's that, Mickey's on the back? Mickey's? Some drag radio? See what it does? No, but no. if Toyo would like to sponsor any tires since you sponsored the car back when the film was made, we'd be glad to take some nice soft compound drag tires. Two sets. Two sets. I need to put them over there. Hit us up <laughs> on Instagram. I need to set our car. <laughs> what? Oh, that's why you want the second set. I thought you were wanting two sets for this. Yeah.
I just had a thought. What? I think Homeboy's gonna be done with the RX-7 before we're done with Lenny's car. Gee, shut up. <laughs>